Hi, my name is Chris Druin. I am the manager of advanced analytics at ASICS Digital. Our company is a subsidiary of ASICS, the big Japanese shoe company. Data is extremely important to ASICS Digital. Um, it is how we make all of our decisions, frankly. We are responsible for building the, uh, the, the reporting, the, uh, you know, all, of our, all of our business intelligence. Um, it's what tells us where we have problems and what we need to fix. Um, and it powers our data-driven products. So we have a lot of data on hand, many billions of rows worth of data. You know, we hit concurrency issues, you'd get tables that were locked all the time. If you're trying to do your reporting and your ETL at the same time, things didn't work out so great. That was one of the big reasons why we were, why we were looking into Snowflake in the first place. So we looked at a couple of different platforms, and Snowflake was extremely easy to integrate. I remember when we did our first demo, the loading a data set in was just a couple lines of code, and the same operations were, you know, were something like 20 times faster with Snowflake, even on a, even on a relatively small uh, warehouse instance. Um, so we were, we were very happy with that. Being able to split our workloads out across different warehouses has been a huge use case for us. So we have a lot of sort of, you know, ongoing ETL jobs that are loading data into our data warehouse all the time and it can't be disrupted. Um, and so being able to split that out um, and have an ad hoc query warehouse where we can go and, you know, the data scientists like me can jump in and pull, you know, 15 million rows worth of, worth of aggregated data. And then on top of that, you've got, you know, you've got the reporting folks who are going to want to be connecting Tableau. Last year, uh, we spun up a Snowflake warehouse that entirely deals with uh, GDPR requests. And so we know that that's got that dedicated resource and that it won't be disrupted by other things that are going on. So really what we've been trying to do over the last several years is build one cohesive view of the customer. You know, you don't want to be in a situation where you are talking to a customer, a user, a patient who has been with you for you know, maybe 10 years, and each time you interact with them, you say, hi, what's your name? Let's treat you as a brand new customer. Um, and so, so Snowflake gives us some of that insight and that ability to really have that long-term relationship with people to say, here is, you know, here's where you're at in your journey here, and uh, you know, here's how we can help you. So Snowflake is giving us these insights that are changing how our, how our business runs. It's much easier now to, to point to the hard numbers across the whole global business um, and show those to the, you know, the executive team and say, here is where we're trending, here's what's doing well, here's what's not doing well. That is really helping guide our decision-making process.